I'm in Amsterdam for the Broadband World Forum, and I'm here with Graham Finney. He's the chief analyst from Heavy Reading. Now, Graham, we're, we've only been here like two minutes, and already everybody's talking about SDN or software defined networks. I mean, who, who have you been talking to so far that's brought up SDN as a topic? Well, as you say, the, the, the vendors are all trying to get their stakes in the ground as early as possible on this subject because it is the big topic of the year. Um, so Huawei have announced something called Softcom, which is basically their concept or roadmap for getting towards software defined networks. Uh, we also heard today from Ericsson that they have a, a, um, a conception of SDN. In both cases, they don't have products. They're simply saying, this is what we think it should look like. This is the direction for carriers and you know, we'll be with you all the way. So what are the main details of Huawei's Softcom? Uh, they talked about the fact that it would be based, at least in part, on what the ONF has done around OpenFlow, and they uh, are talking about a prototype that they are going to announce relatively shortly. Um, but beyond that, they were at pains to say that you know what the ONF has done is not enough for carriers. There need to be other elements, um, particularly at the kind of higher level, the open API level, where more work needs to be done. They also talked about the fact that there needs to be more work at the um, uh, in the uh, separation of hardware and software because the hardware as it stands is not carrier ready, it's not five nines, it's more like three nines if you're talking about IT hardware, so there needs to be work there. But they did say, they were very clear that you know most of the gateway-like functionality would migrate into the cloud as an application which could be downloaded into standard servers and they were clear that they intend to move towards COTS-based hardware in order to support that and have software as a downloadable asset and a cloud-based resource. So that it was quite a radical vision um, which sort of built on ONF but took carriers towards that, um, uh, that basic idea. And is Ericsson taking the same kind of theoretical approach to SDN? Yes, I mean what they talked about was a roadmap, not a set of products. You know, as with Huawei, they're talking more like a five-year vision of where they want to take it. And they were really at pains to say that the ONF model is not enough for carriers, that it had to be a migration, it wasn't a revolution, and that it would require um, you know, a lot of additional elements in order to take it towards a carrier type approach. So they had a lot uh, to say about, uh, again, the kind of open API level needed work. They had quite a lot to say about um, attaching it to the OSS and BSS and analytics system, which is a big new theme for Ericsson. So building around the kind of ONF open flow model, something which was suitable for carriers. So Graham, it seems like the Broadband World Forum, at least early on, is more like the SDN World Forum. Yes, so far, but <laughs> we've got a long way to go. We have. I expect to hear somebody say vectoring within a minute. Indeed. Oh, I just did. Okay. Thanks, Graham. It's a pleasure.